Okay, in today's session, we are going to learn about SAP HANA Database Explorer and how can we do some of the actions here like creating user group, creating users and then schema tables and these concepts we are going to cover. So the first one is a creating user group. For this, so now I am going to log in into my BTP trial account with my credentials. So it's logging into the BTP cockpit. So from here we can go to our trial account. So once we are in the trial account, click on this uh, trial uh, sub account. In the trial sub account, under instance and subscriptions, you can see your uh, subs you know subscriptions. Uh, currently we have subscription to Hana Cloud and BTP. Now uh, click on this Hana Cloud. Okay, if you click on this icon, it will take to the application. Now it is trying to open the SAP HANA Cloud Central. So here we can see the instances which we created. As said, like on nightly basis, SAP is going to shut down the uh, databases. So that's why currently it is stopped. So now we need to restart our uh, instance. So for that, we're clicking on these three dots on the right side and then click on start button. It takes some time for uh, starting this instance and go to the running state. Okay, let's wait for that. So after a few minutes, now the instance is up and running. So now what we are going to do next, so we need to, um, yeah, our not is our next task. So currently this is our database. Now if I click on these three dots and uh, go to this open SAP HANA Database Explorer, uh, it will go to my, um, you know, HANA Database Explorer. But before doing that, what I'm going to do in this particular instance, I'm going to do something, okay? So let's come into this one. Here we have an option called manage configurations. When we click on this uh, database instance on the right side, uh, we have an option to manage the configurations. Here uh, you have some options called user and authorization management. Okay, here what it is saying, basic setup is not yet completed. It means when we create this database, we need to uh, system, you know, proposes to create some admin groups, user groups and all. So for that, it is saying like this. Now what we are going to do, our task is to create a user group. Okay, now I am going to create a two user groups, admin user and a user group. Okay, these are the two user groups I am going to create now. So let's look into it, how to create. Click on this user group uh, link then it will open the user management okay here you can create the user group so click on this uh, create user group button then we need to provide our uh, name so what i said like the first one is admin user adm admin underscore user this is one user group i am going to create so we can provide some comment if needed this is the technical name for this admin uh, user group and then click on save button so now user group was created. Now we need to provide uh, further information, you know, related to this one. So what are the further information is a password policy and a connect, uh, connect restrictions. Under the password policy, you see here uh, for this particular admin user, any user falls under this user group must have the minimum password, minimum number of characters in the password, seven. And uh, lifetime, these are the constraints of for this uh, for the users created under this user group. So lifetime of initial password. Whenever we create a new user, we provide the initial password. So what was the lifespan for the, of that initial password? And uh, did he, uh, you know, is he supposed to change the initial password on his first logon? All such information, uh, you know, uh, we can... One second. Yeah, you see password change required on first logon. All such configurations we can do here. So to change this information, I am going to edit option here and I am going to change here. So yeah, minimum number of characters 8. So my password minimum length must be 8. So I am keeping it as it is. And lowercase letters required, yes. So the password must contain both lower and capital letters. Okay. And next thing is lifetime of initial password. So what I am going to do. 
here just i'm changing this to you know uh, seven years it means initial password won't expire you know till seven years okay and then so what i'm going to do is uh, password change required on first logon i'm saying no because it is our trial account whatever users we are creating it is for ourselves so that's why i'm uh, going to you know keep this setting as password change required on first logon as a no okay that's it i'm not touching any other uh, things uh, on this screen okay and then simply click on the save button you know save so my first user group was created so the next one is by clicking on this cross mark i can create uh, close it and i can create another new user group so the next user group i am going to create user underscore grp is the next one okay so my purpose is all the users normal users will come under this user group and the people who are administrating my database will be go to the admin group that is the purpose of creating these two user groups now here also i am going to do the same kind of changes for the password so password lifetime i am keeping it as seven years uh, then and then here i am giving no okay for the first time password change click on then scroll up save so i am done with the creation of user group so this is how we can do it but for the same time if you want uh, this kind of operations like creating user group creating users uh, we can do it from the sql console also for those you need to have the um, you need to write some sql statements okay so we can look into those, uh, those sql statements a later point uh, as of now i am uh, teaching everything from the uh, you know uh, graphical from here side sap hana cloud central side okay so we are done with creation of user group and then what is our next thing our next thing is creating a user now i am going to create two users admin one and user one okay so let's see how to create these two um, users now go to the users tab here so go to the users tab and here we need to create a user okay so now provide here as i said admin one the admin use and here uh, user group so when i am creating this admin so which user group i want to uh, you know add this user i can provide it here so i am going here and i am selecting my um, admin user because i am creating an admin user so i am adding this user into the admin user group uh, if i want to provide the validity start and end dates i can provide here or else uh, because of optional i can keep it you know as it is and coming to this one creation of objects in own schema yes he, he must have rights to create uh, objects okay and remaining all just to uh, keep it like this and here we need to provide the initial password okay so for the authentication uh, i am giving some password here so before providing password make sure uh, whatever you are typing is in okay i have small letters enabled only yeah. so okay i provided the initial password uh, for this uh, you know user and then force password change on next logon so no okay means when user logs on to the next time he do is he's uh, is he supposed to change password means no because i am going to use this the uh, user so i am giving this as a no but in general whenever we uh, join in any project and when they are providing password to us they will keep always this option as a yes okay that's why it's, it prompts for new password then click on save button one second uh, what happened that uh, radio button got changed huh? i feel it like this force password change and next logon no yeah done so admin one user was created okay with uh, these roles and then uh, password also is there cool okay next and uh, enable password lifetime check means it will check the li um, you know lifetime of the password which we created in the user group um, if we make it no then it won't check for the um, you know lifetime it will be there till lifelong the next one is uh, okay admin user is completed now we are going to create a new user one more user and this user is uh, nothing but user one so this is a regular user uh, like a business user kind of thing so uh, since the, so that i am using it in the under the user group okay uh, here also what i am going to do i am going to generate the password here
so I am make sure always uh, my caps lock is not on when providing this password okay password one and uh, force password check next login no and enable password lifetime check no and then click save since it is trial account I am keeping those as no but in real uh, environment we must keep those to on okay uh, that's it so user one is done and then uh, two users we created so so far what we learned how to create user group and how to create users uh, we learn okay so then what is next